Hey guys, what's up? Nick here once again. It's gonna be a tutorial video on how to get the absolute best quality possible on YouTube, especially if you're gonna be uploading gameplay. Now, one thing YouTube has come out recently with is this new codec system for uploads. Now, everybody knows about how when you upload a video to YouTube, it's gonna diminish the quality regardless of what other quality you upload it in. Now, you can upload something in 4K quality and it'll basically say that it's 4K on YouTube, but in reality, it's still dumbed down by their codec system. Now YouTube recently updated this, and a lot of people don't know about it, that if you upload in 1080p, essentially, especially if it's gameplay, if it has a lot of fast moving images in your video, it's not gonna technically be 10, 1080p quality. Now I'm gonna show you an example of this, all right? So I have two videos, this are both uploaded to my second channel on my gaming channel, Thick Gaming. If you wanna go check it out, I highly recommend it. On this first video here, you can see uh, just the quality in general is much, much lower than you'll see in my second video. So this one right now is at 1080p, 60 frames per second is how I uploaded it to YouTube. And when I press play here, I'm gonna have the sound off, so there's no audio. Now with still images like this, it looks really good. It looks like 1080p. But as soon as my character starts moving, you'll see a lot of graininess, a lot of pixelization. I don't really know how to explain this, but essentially it just looks not very good. And you can see a lot of blurriness around like the grass and the detail on the rocks. And you can, it is, it's super obvious and it looks really pixelated. And it's like, that's really not 1080p quality, at least not what I'm used to. And the weird thing is when I look at it on my, on my computer, when I watch it before I upload it, it looks crystal clear even during the parts where it's moving. Now, let's click to click to a new video on my channel. This was uploaded a couple days ago. Same game, Tarkov, or Escape from Tarkov. Same quality. The only difference is that I rendered it in 1440p instead of 1080. Still 60 frames per second, so that didn't change. And obviously it lets you see it any other version, but we're gonna do it at 1440p. And we're going to switch or click on an area where I'm actually moving in the game. And we'll see a little bit of a difference here. Now, you'll notice that just in general, it looks crisper. It looks like I put some type of a sharpening effect on the video when I did not. I did nothing different. All I did was I changed the resolution of the render before I uploaded it to, to YouTube. And this is something a lot of people don't know. A way to describe this a little bit better. On the old video, the one that's only in 1080p, if you right click on, on any video on YouTube, you can see the stats for nerds area. Just click on it and it'll show you a ton of, uh, basically gibberish if you don't really know anything about this. But the main thing to look at is the current optimal resolution is 1080p right now at 60 frames per second, so it's showing right up here. However, the important part is the codex. As you can see, codec right now is AVC1. And now what they changed is in the past, when you uploaded a 1080p or higher video quality video onto YouTube, you would get a different codec than AVC. On the new video, if we right click and do the stats for nerds, you can see the codec is completely different. We have a VP09. Now this is the codec you want. This is the one that has the best ultimate quality for YouTube videos, uh, especially for gameplay or game or any type of gaming videos because you're not gonna have that weird blurring effect or pixelization in your video. Now the only way to get this codec on YouTube is again to upload in this 1440p 60 frames per second. Now you probably could upload in 30 frames per second and it wouldn't hurt anything, but for gameplay, any type of video games, you wanna use 60 frames per second. So yeah, that that's the, the big thing that people don't know about, or at least that YouTube hasn't explained correctly to its content creators, is if you upload in 1080p, you're not going to be getting that VP09 codec. You're gonna be stuck with the AVC codec, which again, is just fine if you're rendering videos of you just in front of a camera, or if it's like a, a short clip video. But if you're you know, uploading a full 10 minute video of a gameplay, it's gonna look like this. It's not gonna look great. It'll look fine, but not good or great. So how do you fix this? How do we upload in 1440p? If you're using Sony Vegas and the reason you're on this video, this is how you're gonna do it. First things first, you wanna start a new project. So just go to File New and you wanna set it up. I already made this a template and I recommend you save one as well, but you're gonna wanna switch your width to 2560 and your height to 1440p. 
So again, just 2560 in the, in the width, and then the height is 1440. And then you're gonna go up to the template area. And really none of this matters. You can click on any one of these, and then from there, then change the width and the height. And then as soon as you do that, name it to whatever you want. I, I put mine as custom, and then I wrote this in here, and I put and I click the little save template. So then in the future, whenever you start a new project, you just the, drop, the down arrow, and it should be right here. And you just click on that, and it'll automatically change that for you. The rest you can pretty much keep the same except for the frame rate. This you might want to change to 60. Uh, the default one is 59.940. I just typed in 60 and it'll do that automatically for you. So 60 frames per second. Pixel format, leave that the same. Uh, render resolution best. Motion blur type might by default be something else. Make sure that's Gaussian. Uh, De-interlace de method on none. Resample mode, disable resample. This is another important thing for if you're uploading gameplay. So by default on smart resample, you want it to be disabled. Again, this has to do with Sony Vegas and it's rendering with gameplay. I don't know 100% as to why, but it just makes your gameplay look a little bit more blurry. And it actually, the, having it disabled will make your rendering times a little bit faster. So you don't have to wait as long for your video to save. Once you're done, I do recommend starting all new projects with these settings by hitting the little check there, and we'll hit OK. The way to know that, that worked is you'll see the project and the preview are both the same, and they're going to be 2560 by 1440, and that's how you know that your project will essentially render in that right size. So we're just going to import a video clip. Uh, we're not going to do any crazy editing for this video, but uh, let's just do... This one here is a clip from Call of Duty. Click that and it should bring it into the project here. There we go. We're going to click it and drag it down into our timeline. All right. So once you get your clip brought into your timeline down here, you're going to notice that your project and preview may change back to whatever the clip size is. So this one is 1080p. That's when I recorded it in. Now, again, we're going to go back up to file. We're going to go down to properties and you're going to make sure that we have it set to your custom template. So again, hopefully you saved this one from before. Just make sure it's on the right one, 20, 2560 by 1440. Hit apply and okay. Now we should be back in business. We're back to 2560. Now, this is a setting that's on by default in Sony Vegas. I'm just too lazy to turn it off, but there is a way to go into the properties and turn that off so that when you drag a clip in, it won't change it for you. But that's just in case, if it is on still, that's why and that's when I wanted to show you how to change that back. Now. I do have a video on my channel of the beginners or the basics of how to edit with Sony Vegas. I highly recommend checking that out if you are new to Sony Vegas and you don't really know how to begin even editing a video. But for the save, uh, to save time on this video, we're gonna skip the entire editing thing here. Let's just say that the video is 100% done, you're ready, to, you're ready to render it, and you're ready to upload it to YouTube. So once you get that done, we're gonna go up to file again, but this time we're gonna go down to render as. Once this little window pops up here, this is where we can edit the render. Now, yours will look, look a lot different than this. I'm going to turn off my favorites filter because I made a few templates beforehand. And we're going to make a new one just for you guys so you can see how to do it uh, from scratch. So, first things first, under the format area, you want to select the magics. I think that's how you pronounce it. AVC slash AAC MP4. Do not do the HEVC. Make sure it's the AVC. Once you, go, once you just select that, you're going to get all these options over here. You won't see the purple starred one. Those are my custom templates, which we'll make in a second. And you really could technically select any of these. Honestly, it doesn't really matter. Uh, but what you want to do is we're going to select the 1080p 59.94 frames per second. And once you select that, we're going to go down to customize template. And this is where we're going to be editing it uh, basically a little bit. All right. So you see how our project is 2560 by 1440, right? So we're going to want to make sure we're rendering it in that as well. So when we go to customize template, by default, it's at 1080p. So you're going to want to select on the frame size here, and we're going to do custom frame size. Once that is selected, you'll see now we can change the width and the height. So the width, obviously, we're going to 2560, and the height is the 1440. Once you have that, in there all you're gonna have to do from that point on is make sure your frame rates at the 60 frames per second 59.9 or whatever is just fine as well so we'll just leave that alone uh non-progressive scan is fine yeah that's all good 
Maximum bitrate, I mean, this you can change. It's really depending on how good your PC is. If you have a higher end PC, I'd recommend going a little bit higher, maybe 50,000, and then your average, maybe 28,000. If you're a little bit lower end PC, you'd want to lower this maybe to 20,000 for your max, and then your average maybe down to 4,000 or 10, uh, or 10 million, I should say, not 1,000, but you get the gist. If you have a higher end PC, make it a little bit higher. Number of slices, leave that the same. Encoder mode, uh, we'll leave that as the main concept AVC. The rest is good. Go on to audio. Uh, sample rate, I like to raise this a little bit, maybe to 96. And then the bit rate, we can have that at 320. Again, if you have a lower end PC, no real reason to edit that at all. System, we'll leave that to the same. And then project, we wanna do best under the video rendering quality. And then we'll hit OK. Actually, sorry, before we hit OK, make sure we save this as a template so you can use it for the future. So you can rename this whatever you want. So let's say like best YouTube quality. So once you got that down, we're gonna save it. And now your, your template is saved. You'll notice it is now a new template down here called best YouTube quality. If you wanna save it as a favorite, you just click the little star and then it'll be there. I'm not gonna do that because I have this already made up as my YouTube thing right here but that's just so you can create a new template. Once you get that down, you are good to go. You don't really have to change anything else. Just make sure under rendering options, your uh, stretch video to fill output is not checked and make sure none of these are checked and you're good to name it and then place it wherever you want and hit render. And that is essentially it. Your video then will be rendered in 1440p. It will be in HD, obviously, 60 frames per second. And then when you upload it to YouTube, it you will get that new codec of VP09. Just make sure that you understand that since you're uploading a video in a new higher quality than normal, because you're, you've probably always uploaded in 1080p or lower, it's gonna take a little bit longer to upload. So don't be discouraged by a longer upload time. And it's gonna take a lot longer to process after the fact. So you'll be able to watch the video, but it's gonna be in 360p or maybe worse quality for a solid 30 minutes to an hour. It can take anywhere from that amount of time, depending on YouTube's algorithm and how long it takes to process. But usually after a solid hour, you'll have the full 1440p quality available and your codec will show the VP09. And that should give you the best quality possible on YouTube without having to upload in 4K. So that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, I'll definitely get back to you as soon as possible in the comment section below. If you liked the video, uh, please hit the like button. It helps a lot. Subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.